Welcome to the first official Sundown Town series topic discussion, however you want to put it. Now, of course, the very first video I did was more of an introduction. So while that was the official beginning of the series, it wasn't the beginning of me talking about one town in particular. So now going forward, we will be getting into the actual towns. And our first stop on the Sundown series is a place called Bonanza, Arkansas. I can honestly say outside of places like Little Rock, Arkansas, I can't tell you anything else about the state of Arkansas. It may be some other places I've heard of, but I can't think of at the moment. But Bonanza is one of them that I never heard of. And one thing I've also noticed within my research is the title of these places. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into it because I'm only supposed to be talking about this particular town for right now. But it is. It's amazing how some of the names of the towns give away what kind of place it probably actually is. So with that being said, let me just go and get into it. Bonanza is a city in Sebastian County, Arkansas, United States. It is a part of the Fort Smith, Arkansas, Oklahoma Metropolitan Statistical Area. At the 2010 census, the population of Bonanza was 575. 575 people. Not 575,000, not 5,750 people, but 575. One thing I'm also noticing with a lot of these sundown towns is a lot of them are very, very small in population. Very tiny, very tiny. According to the 2005 U.S. Census Bureau estimates the population of Bonanza was 544. So that means they only raised up about 40 people since, you know, in five years from 2005 to 2010. Bonanza began as a coal mining town of the Central Coal and Coke Company. Around 200 citizens held a meeting with the purpose of removing black workers from the town. A resolution was passed demanding that about 40 Negroes employed by Central Coal and Coke Company leave town. On April 30th, 1904, there was a gun battle between black and white miners. It was reported that around 500 rounds were fired in the Arkansas Gazette. Reported on May 7th, nearly all black residents had left the city. As of the census of 2000, there were 514 people, 199 households, and 151 families residing in the town. The population density was 161.3 kilometers. There were 219 housing units at an average density of 68.7 kilometers. The racial makeup of the town was 95.72% white, 1.17% Native American, 0.19% from other races and 2.92% from two or more races. 1.95% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. So that pretty much lets you know that in this particular town, there are absolutely damn near no black people living there. And that was as of 2000. That was 20, now 20 years ago. This wasn't back in the early 1900s like specified earlier. That was to as in recent history in the last two decades as of 2000. There were 199 households out of which 26.6% had children under the age of 18 living with them. 59.8% were married, living together. 8.5% had a female householder with no husband present. And 24.1% were non-families. 20.0%. 20.6% of all households were made up of individuals, and 9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.58, was 2.58 and the average family size was 2.96. The median income for a household in the town was $30,809, and the median income for a family was $37,344. Males had a median income of $30,368 versus $17,500 for females. The per capita income for the town was $13,407. About 6.7% of families and 78 of the population were below the poverty line. 
including 9.2% of those under 18 and 11.5% of those 65 or over. So it sounds to me, based on what I'm finding on this particular town, just on the fact that they have had only 500 something people living in that town. And also, by the way, as of 2017, of as of their census, they now have a population of 566. So it only went up like 22 people. This lets me know or this tells me that there's probably a lot and I do mean a lot of incest going on in that town. Basically, what they're also telling me is they would probably like to keep the town lily, damn near lily white than let a black person live there. Just based off of the demographics that I read that said it's 95.72% white and every other race. But notice that every other group that happens to be there that may not be classified under the category of white is below 10%. They are the only race that's damn near, it's damn near 100% palm colored there. It's practically no black person living there, as far as we know. And the Hispanic, Latino, Native American population down there is very, very, very low. Very low. The only way to probably not be there anymore is the, the people who live there who can could be categorized under being non-white just left the town altogether. Then it would be pretty much all palm colored. But five, I, I've never seen a town that only housed 566 people, less than 600. And this was over the course of years. It's not like they uh built up from that and expanded they have not left out of the 500 the 500s range in over 20 years but that just shows you how what what lengths they will go to keep those keep a town like this very segregated if that's not segregation i don't know what is and I've heard some low population towns or small cities before, but this one right here takes the cake because I've never seen a town be that particularly low. Now, like I said, the last time some black people were in this town was way back in what, the 40s, the 50s, probably around that range. Let me go back and uh, look at this again to see when exactly did this uh, race white 1904. 1904 was the last time. That a group of black people were in this town. 1904. And it is now 2020. So you're talking about 100 plus years since the last time a group as a collective of black people were in that town. And they fought against black people to get them out of that town. And unfortunately, you end up black people, they ended up losing. At least they fought back. I will give them that. And for that alone, I can see why Bonanza, Arkansas would be considered a sundown town and why no uh, black person would probably even want to drive through there, let alone even live there or even visit. But this concludes this edition of the sundown series, the first one in the books, I guess you can say officially for Bonanza, Arkansas. I hope you all enjoy. Make sure you all stay tuned for the the upcoming series for the one that's coming next week. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Also follow me on Twitter so you can get the notification and I'll talk to you in the next one.